everybody would need them handicapping the races for my hometown track Penn National Racecourse in Granville, PA. It is Saturday evening, May the 31st, and this is my day at the track.com race of the day. A focus on race 8 this evening, folks, 9.38 p.m. Eastern Post Time for this six furlong sprint on the dirt track. Three-year-olds and up race for an allowance purse of $20,800. Contenders number two, Vigorous, number five, Toy Soldier, number one, Ops Overlord, and number seven, Rockin' and Racin'. Number two, Vigorous, is the overall speed leader in this allowance field tonight, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion three of his last five, winning in both his last start as well as his fifth race back. Jockey David Cora was in his irons for that last win seven nights ago here at Penn National, which produced a positive 210% return on investment in the process. Cora is back tonight for his second ride gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number five, Toy Soldier, has nice early speed for the sprint as the pace profile leader, and like my top pick in this race, also comes off a power run win in his last start. Race 8 summary, number 2, Vigorous tops the contenders list, which also includes number 5, Toy Soldier, number 1, Ops Overlord, and number 7, Rockin' and Racin'. That's 2517 in the 8th tonight from Penn National. Do have some bonus long shots for you as usual, folks. Get my past performance sheets out. Let's go to Evangeline Downs first. Race number 1, the 8 to 1 shot, number 7, Wild Sal, takes a big class drop of 20 units. The overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at four and a half furlongs on the dirt. Race at Charlestown this evening. Race eight here in the $50,000 Salerno Stakes. The nine to two shot and one peaceful bliss. Takes a huge class drop of 21 units. Good speed for this specialized sprint at seven furlongs tonight. So from Penn National on a Saturday evening, Rick Needham for a day at thetrack.com, where, by the way, you can wager on this race from Penn National, as well as my long shot picks, reminding you, as always, to please bet with your head, not over it.